I am absolutely shocked at how fast everything started manifesting in my life once I learned this. And you will be too when you start using it. Hello my beautiful superheroes, welcome back to my channel, the place where we make the impossible possible. If you're new here, hi, I'm Scarlett Grace, I'm a manifestation coach and I'm here to help you manifest your heart's desires and a life that's better than your wildest dreams. In this video, I want to share with you one of my very, very favorite manifestation techniques that will speed up all your manifestations. You will be absolutely shocked and thrilled when you see how fast everything will start manifesting once you start using this. And the best part is, this method is incredibly simple. It doesn't require visualization and you can do it anywhere. You can do it out loud, you can do it in your head while you're waiting in line at the grocery store, on the bus or anywhere else you want. It's not a meditation, it doesn't take up all day, and you can use it for as many desires as you want at the same time. I will explain exactly how and why it works so that you know everything you need to know to start using it right after watching this video. But before we jump into this, if you want to learn how to manifest any desire fast to the Law of Assumption and Neville Goddard's teachings, then subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any video that could change your life. I also have several self-study courses to help you manifest, including a 21-day course on how to manifest your specific person. And if you need some extra help on my personal advice for your situation, coaching is now open, both one-on-one -on -one Zoom coaching and coaching via recording. You can find the links for all of those things in the description below. So let's talk about this amazing method that will manifest everything you want in your life super, super fast. This is actually a method I've talked about before in some videos, but for some reason, it is very underused. It's not one of the popular methods that you hear about. And I don't get why, because once I learned about this, it truly transformed the manifestation game for me. And it allowed me to manifest things that before they felt out of reach. And they felt out of reach because I had limiting beliefs beliefs around that thing that I wanted to manifest. So with a traditional method of manifesting, you have to figure out what your limiting beliefs are and you have to eliminate them through affirmations or any other method in order to be able to manifest your desire. Otherwise, you may experience a delay in the manifestation. It may take too long. You may go back and forth between feeling that you are in the state of the wish fulfilled and then swinging all the way back to feeling desperate, feeling that it will never happen over and over and over again. And that is why most people struggle with some of their manifestations because they keep going back and forth between the state of the wish fulfilled and feeling all their fears and their insecurities and their limiting beliefs. And this is the problem that this specific method eliminates and that is why it is so amazing and it can help you manifest so fast. You can use it for any kind of desire, big or small. And I always suggest that you use any new method with smaller desires first because those will manifest super fast and that will build your faith that this method works and that you can make it work. So start with the desires that don't feel completely out of reach. But you can use it for anything you want. So you can mix all kinds of desires when you use this method. You can use it for tiny desires like finding a parking spot or you can use it for middle range desires, the things that you know will happen, but you just want them to happen faster or uh, the things that you know that you can manifest and you just want to test this method on those things. You know you can manifest them with other methods, with visualization or whatever. You do feel that those desires are practically yours, but you want to test a new method on them. Or you can use it for the things that feel out of reach right now, the things that have been resisting manifestation, the things that you want to manifest, but you have like a huge list of limiting beliefs that you know is what stops you from manifesting them. So let me explain why this method works so well so that you can see why and how it is so incredibly effective. The reason this method works so well is because in order to manifest something, having it needs to make logical sense to our minds. If you think about it, that's why when we want something that feels out of reach, we have all those limiting beliefs come up because we say, I own this thing, I am this kind of person, for example, I own my dream house. 
And if you're broke right now, your brain says, yeah, right, how is this going to happen? Because it doesn't make logical sense to your brain. And that's why we use visualization and affirmations and all kinds of things to gradually move from the state we are right now to the state of the wish fulfilled, where our brain thinks that, yeah, I'm used to having this. I've imagined having it so many times that, yeah, it makes sense to me that this could be ours, this could be mine. But that can sometimes take a while to happen. It can take a while of you imagining over and over that you own your dream house or you are married to your specific person or you have your dream job or you are a millionaire or you own your dream car for your subconscious mind to start thinking that this makes sense, that this is actually yours. Whereas things that actually make sense to your conscious mind, you don't have resistance around and you don't have limiting beliefs come up. For example... Imagine that instead of trying to manifest your dream house while you're completely broke, you say, I am receiving $5,000 this week. And you so happen to work at a job where you're getting paid $5,000 this Friday. If you affirm that you're getting $5,000 this week, your conscious mind will be like, okay, yeah, of course you are. That's your paycheck. That makes complete sense to me. You don't feel that this is fake. You don't have any limiting beliefs around it because your conscious mind has a reason, has a way for you to receive that money. It sees a way so you don't have any resistance. You don't have to persuade yourself to believe that it is going to happen because logically your mind thinks that, of course, it is going to happen. This is your paycheck. Duh. So what happens is your brain needs a reason why what you're affirming or what you're imagining makes sense that it could happen in your physical reality. Otherwise, it will bring up limiting beliefs and doubts. It needs a because. I'm going to receive $5,000 this week because that's my paycheck. That makes sense to your brain. But here's the trick and this is what most people miss and this is why this method is so incredibly effective. Your brain doesn't actually need a truly logical reason to get persuaded that, yeah, it makes sense that this is ours. It just needs a reason that sounds logical. It doesn't have to be logical. It just has to sound logical to your brain. And this is where this method, called the because method, comes in. Let me show you how to use it to manifest absolutely any desire you have without any resistance. Let's say that what you want to manifest is becoming a millionaire. What I want you to do is I want you to create an I am affirmation about this desire. So in this case, for this desire, the I am affirmation would be I am a millionaire. If you want to manifest something else, if you want to manifest being married to your specific person, the affirmation would be I am married to my specific person, or you can name your specific person in the affirmation. I am married to Jack. I am married to Mary. Or let's say that you want to manifest your dream car. Let's say that your dream car is a Tesla. The affirmation would be, I am the owner of a Tesla, or I am the proud owner of a Tesla, okay? So the first step is you create an I am affirmation about your desire. It doesn't have to be complicated. Just state what you want as if you already have it after I am. The second step is you add a because after your affirmation. So with our first affirmation about being a millionaire, you take your affirmation, I am a millionaire, and you add the word because right after. I am a millionaire because. With your specific person, it would be I am married to Jack because... Get it? It's pretty easy. You just take your affirmation and add the word because right after it. In the third step, what we're going to do is we're going to add something after the word because because your brain needs something that appears to make sense as a reason why this desire is yours so that it doesn't start wondering if it makes sense for it to happen and bring up all the reasons why it doesn't make sense, all the limiting beliefs and everything. That's what we're trying to get away with. So here's step number three. In step number three, you take the first part of your affirmation, everything that is before the word because, and you stick it right after the because. So, your original affirmation for becoming a millionaire was, I am a millionaire. Then you add it because, and then after because you say again, I am a millionaire. And that's your full affirmation. So, 
The finished affirmation is I am a millionaire because I am a millionaire. And I know that it sounds ridiculous and ridiculously simple for this to work, but it does actually work. Because remember, your brain doesn't actually need a super logical reason to get convinced. It just needs a reason that sounds logical. And think of how many things in life you basically take for granted. They are the way they are. And if somebody asks you, you don't go into a complicated analysis of all the mechanics and physics and biology of why this is the way it is. Like if you have blue eyes, why do you have blue eyes? <laughs> Because you have blue eyes. If a person asks you, why do you have blue eyes out of nowhere, you're probably not going to get into a full analysis of how DNA works and genes and what color eyes your parents have. And if your great grandma had blue eyes and that's why you have blue eyes, even though your parents don't and blah, blah, blah. Why do you have blue eyes? <laughs> Because I was born with blue eyes. I just have blue eyes. That's why I have blue eyes. And it makes sense to your brain. If you were born in New York City, why were you born in New York City? Well, because I was born in New York City. <laughs> What don't you get, you know? So why are you a millionaire? I am a millionaire because I am a millionaire. Why are you married to Jack? I am happily married to Jack because I'm happily married to Jack. Why do you own a Tesla? I own a Tesla because I own a Tesla. Now, you don't have to have only I am affirmations for this method because maybe something else resonates more with you. Maybe you have a desire that you can't figure out a way that sounds good to you to state in an I am statement. I tend to prefer I am affirmations because that implies an identity shift. But you can have I have affirmations, you can have I make affirmations, I do, whatever works for your desire and for you best, whatever sounds better to you. So for example, maybe you don't just want to manifest being a millionaire. What you want is your business to be making five million dollars per year consistently every year. So in that case, your affirmation may be my business makes five million dollars per year every year because my business makes five million dollars per year every year. Okay, so what you need to do is You need to create affirmations for all the desires that you want to manifest with this method. And then after the affirmation, you add the word because, and then you repeat the first part of the affirmation. And you can use this to manifest as many desires as you want at the same time. So you can have a list of affirmations and use them every morning, every evening, and sometime around noon, three times a day, like I usually recommend using affirmations. You can repeat some of those affirmations about the things that you want the most right now in your head during the day while you're waiting in line in the grocery store or if you get stuck in traffic and you're bored and don't know what to do. This is the kind of method that will manifest things in your reality where it didn't make sense before that what you wanted could happen. It can manifest things seemingly miraculously. And you can also use the same method to manifest for other people too. So you can have an affirmation there to help somebody else. It doesn't just have to be about you. Maybe you want to help your sister, your brother, your husband, your best friend. I once used it to manifest money for a friend of mine because they kept saying, I keep playing the lottery and I never win anything. So I started saying that this person wins the lottery because this person wins the lottery And the next day they want two grand and it hadn't happened before. So you can use it about anything you want, even other people. Try this and let me know in the comments what amazing things manifested in your life thanks to this method. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon because I put out new videos every Sunday to help you manifest an amazing life.